He was at a uh, meeting in Deerfield Beach, and I guess they really wanted to take him out to the lunch. I suppose it's going real well, so yeah. we said we'd uh, hold down You'll the make floor. it, or maybe not, but I think we got it. I can approximate his worldview. Cool, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Jen Coyne. Yes. Have you given any more thought to my question? Sure have. The big why. Yeah, sure have. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think we, we both have. Uh-huh. And um, Izzy, why don't, you, why don't you go first? Yeah, I'll take it away. Um, you know, we both have our own reasons. I think that's what Jen Coyne's all about. People anywhere in the world, any class, any color, you know, having a fair chance at accessing money. I think we're just leveling the playing field for everyone. For me, it's, it's more about what my mom and dad went through. Um, when, when I was a child, they were opening up a Cuban restaurant. I mean, my mom's a crazy good cook. People all over the neighborhood, they would beg her to come over for dinner. So she figured, well, hey, why not start charging and make it a business? Mm. I mean, I love me some home-cooked Cuban food. Oh, oh. you tried her food. Mm. You'd want to kiss her. She's, she's 60, but she's hot. She's the hot mom. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. No. Um, here's what's up, though. Um, being Cuban immigrants, they had no credit, so they borrowed money from some people that they shouldn't have. They didn't have money to pay them back. They sold their restaurant to the highest bidder, and my parents have been in debt to them ever since. My dad wears a neon vest, works at the docks now, like a chump, trying to keep square. I guess the, the point I'm trying to make is that if Gen Coin would have been around, none of this would have happened. He could have gotten a loan directly, and no corporation or bank is gonna tell them what to do with that money. Gen Coin takes less than a 1% interest rate, which is unnoticeable. And my parents would have still had that restaurant and they would have still been in that kitchen cooking. Interesting. Mm -hmm. A nice story. Nick, uh, what about you? Yeah. Um, well, for me, uh... You're big why, Nick? Actually, here's my own. That's, uh, that's okay. We were just, Izzy was just. We were hearing her answer to Alex's big question. Oh, yeah, that's right. The why, right? Big why. And she tell you about her folks' diner and, and the Cuban mob and all that? She tell you that? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, did Nick tell you about his shady old man laundering money to drug cartels for the past no, century? No, we didn't get into that. <laughs> Y'all didn't get into that? No. I started Jen Coyne gonna make him feel better about what his daddy done did. <laughs> nah. Why is everybody so quiet? Is it because of this? <laughs> what is? Check this out. See that? This the business that had me tied down to a goddamn chair with Bob Wire. And then getting worked over. Do you know why? Because I took all the money that I had been trusted with, my entire hood stash, and I gave it to this little girl sitting right here. Is it Morales? That's how much I believe in Jen Coyne. Where are you from, Alex? Uh, Greenwich. Greenwich? Connecticut. Damn. That's quiet. Safe. Yeah. Most of the folks in your world building the software that's going to shape our lives, most of those people, such as yourself, y'all grew up in a bubble. Ain't that right? You're not wrong. And now you're still in a boat. 
same shit, different pay. Right? Gencoin. For the people, by the people. You see what I'm saying? Anybody who's living in the streets, anybody who knows what's going down in the streets here in Miami, or some messed up village in Syria, or anywhere across the world, where folks is turning their back on other folks. You got that? And you got this girl's code. You got supply, and you have the demand. You have the problem, and you have the solution. You have the currency of the future. That. 